So first things first, we're going to uh, take our retaining clips off here, one on either side, to hold the shoe on. And then uh, we'll take off this little clip here, or a spring, take off the bottom spring, and then we'll be able to slide off the top, and then uh, we'll put the new stuff back on. So there is a special tool for this, but uh, I use a pair of pliers and uh, push it down. Works good. There we go. We'll just take this little spring off now. Guys, when you guys do this too, always take pictures because, uh, you know, sometimes you forget where stuff is. I know this is a video, but always take pictures when you're doing it, then you don't forget where stuff is. So I'll do that just now, just to show you. So you want to get from a couple different angles, how, how all the springs get put on and everything. There you go. And always try to lay your pieces out the same way you take them off. A pair of pliers works just good. Okay, so once that's off, So to make your life a little bit easier guys, it's uh, easier to take the park brake off. So just take a pair of pliers, there's a spring. We're just gonna de decompress the spring here. Just pull that off. Now you can work it on, on the ground, it's a lot easier. So what you're going to want to do is take this uh, horse, horseshoe clip off. Um, I found prying it with flathead screwdriver out and then uh, getting a pair of pliers in and pop, popping it out works the best. Uh, so I'm just going to do that right now off camera and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so now uh, we got our new shoes on the outside, the old ones on the inside. Now we're just gonna put everything back together the way uh, we took it off. So this might just need a little bit of, uh, just a little smack to get to get it on, but it should, uh, should fit perfectly, so. There we go, uh, I just got that pin smacked on, just hit it a couple times and good to go. So now we're gonna put everything back together the way it was. And my little horseshoe clip, I think it went flying. So uh, that's all right, we got some new ones anyways. So probably use one of those, but if I happen to see it, I might grab it and use that one again. Hey guys, I got the new uh, horseshoe clip in there. So you're gonna slide it in and then you're gonna crimp it cl closed a little bit. So uh, it's going to take a little bit of force. I use a needle nose pliers, just like that, and then give her a little squeeze. So uh, that's how you do it. OK, 
get your new one because your old one's pretty shitty. Um, you could just get a parts kit like this for, uh, I don't know, five bucks I think I paid for it, so. So guys, the first time you do this, it might take an hour and a half, two hours to do one, you know, once you get it down, right? And then the other side, maybe like half hour or less, so. Um, yeah, it's not, doesn't take that long, it saves a bunch of money. Can be a little frustrating sometimes. I personally don't like uh, drum brakes. I uh, kinda hate them, but. It is what it is, guys. Guys, so uh, I <clears throat> guess you didn't see that last little bit. But you gotta put your, your shoes on, you get your uh, retainer pins put in. Once, uh, once that's done, then uh, what's gonna happen is you can go zap straps all the way around the outside, kinda holds everything together because if you get this cylinder pops out and you leak brake fluid, you're gonna have to bleed your brakes. I have to do it on the other side. Uh, I got a little carried away and things slipped, so it's, uh, it's what it is. <clears throat> So on this side, uh, yeah, we're gonna start putting stuff back together here and getting things back to normal. All right, so it's looking good. So yeah, I'm gonna put some zap straps around the outside. We're gonna get this uh, small one put in and it fits in just like this from behind. There's a little plate. So the little plate comes down and you gotta get the spring in behind it. And uh, these outside clips are gonna be facing just like that. Then after we're gonna get our <coughs> pin in here, or spring in here. And the last and final one is this spring here. It connects uh, right up there, and you're gonna pull it to the other side. It's kind of hidden. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna get some uh, zap straps, get that all pinned up, and uh, we'll be done. So as you guys can tell, I got my zap straps on the outside there. So uh, <clears throat> now we're gonna get our springs and everything put on. Start with the bottom. So uh, just for the ease of this, I just uh, put the bottom spring on um, already. But uh, I'm gonna get the zap straps reapplied and then, uh, then we should get the other springs on. Okay guys, I uh, suggest using good quality zap straps. Apparently mine are junk. All right, zap straps applied. We'll give it a whirl. <laughs> Fuck. and just adjust that little sprocket in there. Just move it up or down to uh, adjust the tension on your shoes, and that's it. So you just kind of do that and you just turn it, spin it around, 
and you want a little bit of uh, just a not a slight resistance you just slight but you know you want to make sure it's not too loose so um, yeah that's it guys um, I'm gonna throw this uh, drum on and uh, throw the wheel on and then I'll have to bleed the brakes uh, after so uh, yeah if you like this video guys thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, feel free to subscribe if you're not already done so and uh, share thanks so much for watching guys and uh, never stop learning